Hi, I'm David and I paint watercolours. I just love being outdoors and I hope these videos inspire you to do the same. So um, subscribe and welcome. <laughs>
And then I put these uh, latches on. They're kind of uh, oversized for the size of the box, but um, I think they, they're, they're a real feature of the box. So, um, so um, I think it's, um, it's, it's fun to put them on. And, um, and so here I'm going to put on that le little uh, ledge then for the... Um, and I wanted um, to be able to swivel back to close basically so that when I'm transporting the box it doesn't um, break off and uh, so here I'm um, yeah, punching some holes in and then it, yeah, using a drill because um, it's very easy to for the um, pine wood box to split if you don't use a, a drill um, yeah that's a good tip okay there was something I discovered when I did this that is my little ledge actually falls too far down so um, I had to put on two little blocks here, two little breaks, you could say, to um, at the back of the box, just like that. This wasn't intentional, uh, so but I had to. It's a fix. That's the way it is, and uh, so that creates the 90 degree angle I wanted. So then I just uh, secure them with wood glue and, um, and a few screws, and um, yeah. And then finally, um, this is the, the, the tripod bra bracket. And um, so I had to center this, and then uh, here I'm just um, putting some holes in. And then on the other side, I've, um, I'm s strengthening the, the whole thing uh, with another piece of wood. And um, it was a bit fiddly actually getting it to, um, to match up uh, front and back. I'm not an experienced carpenter. It's looking pretty. I'm happy with it. Um, inside, I have my shelf here. And this basically goes on um, here. So that goes there. Um, and I'll explain this later. Um, and then here, some velcros. But basically, and this is basically my stand. And um, I have been thinking of building, um, you know, using some kind of woof hooks or something like this here. But I couldn't, I haven't found anything that's perfect yet. And actually, I found that this piece of wood is just fine. <laughs> it um, does the job. And so, um, yeah. So this is basically it. This is the setup. And um, I have a, this is a GoPro mount so that I can film um, when I'm sketching for YouTube. Um, this is Velcro, and so this is where I attach my um, watercolor palette and uh, I have, if I want to, um, an extra water, palette, water container. Um, these guys here are, um, well, let me explain. This is my current sketchbook. But it's basically, um, I use these T-strainers and um, I can just hook it onto the side there and it hangs from the, and I put my paintbrushes there basically, or pencils. And it's a light, lightweight um, thingy. So, um, yeah, it takes no space. So yeah, this is, I'm really happy with it. So it closes up there, this all folds back. And um, I fill this all with all my gear, and um, I just pop this in. And then there's even room for um, a sketchbook. It goes in there. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, um, and you probably did because you're still watching, um, give the video a like, it helps me. And subscribe if you don't want to miss future episodes. And um, click the Patreon link below this video if you want to help the making of these videos um, by sponsoring a small amount each month. Okay, well listen, um, happy watercoloring and uh, see you again soon.